guys welcome back to my channel so today what I have for you guys is actually going to be a one brand makeup tutorial and you guys know I really like doing these because it's kind of a challenge to do everything with your face from one brand and today what I'm gonna bring for you guys is actually a drugstore brand one wild so hope you guys enjoy this video Today is actually going to be a collaboration with my friend Victoria I met her on the Ipsy OS group and if I could tell you that somebody is so positive and so down to earth and her makeup skills is on point it's definitely her, so I'll leave her channel down below so you can check it out. Please don't forget to subscribe to her channel, let her know that you came from the Pineapple Squad, and of course, subscribe, give her some love, and yeah, this is all I have to tell you guys, so if you want to know how my makeup is going to come out using all Wet Wall products that, let me show you girl, let's just say I went a little crazy, but yeah. <laughs> So let's get started, and I don't have a primer for What a Wild, so just to leave this like a drug drugstore kind of makeup tutorial, I'm gonna just prime with my other primer. Prime with my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is a very, very good primer if you have a lot of pores right here. It's very, very cheap. I bought mine at um, Walmart, and I'll full length um, tutorial on this primer just in case you wanna um, go try it out. I will leave it down below. This isn't like magic, you know, it's gonna blur your pores, but it does help with the makeup and how it looks like right here all around your pores. So, alright, let's get started. And I'm just gonna, earth is falling. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray my, my my face with some Pixi um glow mist right here. I'm just gonna spray a little sprays. Just to hydrate the skin because um I I've been I've been really sick. Um like everybody else in the world right <laughs> um so yeah and I feel like my face needs some hydration so yeah so I'm gonna go in with foundation I'm gonna use the wet n wild photo focus foundation and mine is in toffee and I, I just put a review on this yesterday so I will leave it down below also if you want to check that out and I'm gonna apply it to my face using the applicator like this I'm gonna start up blending it out with my brush right here. This is the, this is the Wet n Wild um, foundation brush, I guess. They, they only say Wet n Wild. They don't really have a name. So I'm just gonna start dabbing the foundation like that. This brush isn't my favorite, but I've noticed that this foundation does look nice with the brush, so I wanted to try it. little bit more on the sides of my cheeks because that's where I need the most coverage so I already put on foundation on and I don't have anything for my brows from wet n wild so I'm just gonna go in with my regular brow pomade that is the only one that I'm using right now um, and it's the Cabral by benefit this so this is gonna be the only thing that is high-end because I just fell in love with this and if I use something else I'm not gonna be genuine so I'm just gonna go in with this really fast and do my eyebrows Alright, so I already did my eyebrows, so now so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my concealer, and this is the concealer corrector or something like that. This is the Wet n Wild um, Corrector Concealer, I believe it is. And it's, Oh, and by the way, Wet n Wild is cruelty free, so okay. that is very, very good. So I'm just going to open it. And this is pretty much how the concealer looks like. It looks a lot like the NARS packaging, and it looks a lot like the um, concealer, the HD concealer from ELF. Like a lot. <laughs> like all these concealers are looking alike. A lot. <laughs> so this is pretty much how it looks like. And the color that I got in this concealer is color medium deep tan in number 844B. Yeah. So it's the color. I don't have a corrector from one in a while, so um, let's see. So we're gonna test out the coverage from this concealer, see how much it covers. And this concealer is not that different from my skin tone. It's probably like one shade lighter. So let's see. It comes out a lot from this concealer. You really, really have to like Go like that like thousand of times. So 
I don't like that. That's weird. Like medium coverage um all right so all right so what, what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with the concealer so I'm just gonna put some right here and I'm gonna use this brush that I bought right here from Dollar Tree and it was a dollar so this is a smoky liner brush and I'm gonna use this one just to clean up my eyebrows and I might use it later on also for something else because why not I don't usually carve up my eyebrows with a concealer that's my skin, same skin tone. It's usually one that's like two shades or more lighter than my skin tone, but it's okay. This will work for now. My face feels very, very matte. <laughs> this is like so matte, it's not even funny. All right. Okay, so enough with that. Now, let's do our, actually no, I'm getting something. I'm just going to use this powder right here. And this is the RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm going to use this one to um, set my concealer because I don't want to use something high end. I want to use something that you guys can find. So I'm just going to, dang, powder everywhere. I'm just going to set my concealer over this. And I do like this, this, this powder. It's just, I, feel, I just feel like it does leave a cast sometimes yeah this concealer creased a lot so it's not it's not what I expected all right so I have these two little quads right here um I've never used them um I have used wear weld um eyeshadows before they're amazing but these two I've never used um I kind of want to do a cut crease you know what I mean so I'm gonna use this one, and I'm pretty much gonna use all the colors in this one. Um, see, look, I've never used them. I just opened it, and I've, I've had it since like forever. So I'm just gonna attempt to do a cut crease. It doesn't have a shade to go on your eyelids, does it? Is it that one? Um, so I'm just gonna use a bronzer. I'm gonna use this Milani bronzer just to put it on my crease. And I'm going to use this blending brush from Wet n Wild. And it's this one right here. I love this brush. I use it all the time. So I'm just going to use this to apply the... Not this. To apply um the Milani powder on my eyes. Just to make it like a transition color. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm like watching Grey's Anatomy right now. Now that I'm obsessed. Gone, and I've added the I use this brush right here that I got on my Anastasia um, palette. I'm going to use this end because it's really, really tiny and small. And I'm going to go in... La, let me see. What I'm going to go in with this one. It has like a little bit of shimmer, but I think it should be fine. So I'm going to go in with that one on my, on my eyes. And I'm going to kind of attempt to do a cut crease. You guys know like I've never really done cut creases. I don't think I have. But I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with both with this one and that brown one right here because um, this one is too light because it's kind of like my skin tone so I'm going to go with that one and this one So I did like the cut crease kind of thing. I'm going to blend it out with the same powder that I used on my transition. And I'm going to try to keep it like this. Mm -hmm. right, so I'm going to put some concealer. Ugh, I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to put some of this concealer on the eyelids, I'm going to try to cut it, like, obviously, cut crease, you know. <laughs> I'm going to try to cut it with that same brush that I was using earlier.
I'm just gonna apply this bone color right here on my lips, right here, this one. Alright, so this is pretty much what I've got so far. Um, it's been kind of hard. I'm not very good at cut creases, but it's okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to put some of this um, One Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder. And I have this one in, I believe, Precious Petals. Um, yeah, Precious Petals. This is my favorite highlight of all time. Like, if you ask me, if you want to know which is my favorite, it's this one. I really do like it. So this is pretty much, I'm going to put this on my eyelids because I want like a little sheen, like a little like glow on my eyes. So I'm going to put this one. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara real quick. I'm not going to do a wing liner or anything. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara, just a little bit so I can put my eyelashes on. Like that. And the eyelashes that I'm going to use today, I actually got it at Dollar Tree also. You guys, I can't even believe they have everything on Dollar Tree. So this is the obviously Wet n Wild Lashes and it comes with like a little glue. Um, and this is the Shutter Shock Lashes. Pretty cool. So, right, so never mind about that because I tried. And look how ugly they are. Look how ugly. No, no. <laughs> so I'm going to put these instead. And these um, I bought online when I bought everything else. This is the Color Icon Fox Lashes. And I got this pack. I got, I literally got like four of them. Like four lashes. And I think it was $2. The one sale. So I'm going to use this one instead. And yeah, this is Lash La Reed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these instead because I don't like the other ones. lashes on this is how they look can you see this like it looks nice i like it i like them hmm i like them okay they don't stick good to your eyes but i guess it's not the worst thing in the world you see like they're already getting off in the middle it's just because of the quality um so now i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna put the same colors that i put um, on my crease, I'm gonna put those on my wa on my waterline. So now I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this same highlight that I got right here. So now that we're finished with our eyes, I am going now. I'm very excited for this. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. And this color is in Call Me Maple. And I've never used this before. So I've never used anything like this to contour, like, ever. So I'm going to start just with one side and then blend it. I don't. Do you guys see it there? I don't see it. I think I disappeared. And now I'm gonna use this um, What I Wild contour brush. This one right here. And I'm just gonna put some of the Milani powder on top. Mm, I like it. Okay. Highlight. I am gonna use a combination of this of this highlight that I've been using, and then this um, Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. 
and I always use this one in the little corner. So I'm gonna blend, I'm gonna take take both of those and just highlight on my face until I can't highlight anymore. <laughs> this look I'm gonna use this um, liner right here and the color of this liner is where's the color I think it says mauve N O U V E A U mauve it's like a pinkish mauve color and then I'm gonna top it off with this one and wild color and this is the liquid cat suit mega la no no <laughs> this is the one and wild mega last liquid lipstick um, and this one is in Rebel Rose. It's kind of like this nice, beautiful pink color, mauve color. So I'm going to outline my lips with this one, and then I'm going to go in with this one. Too Barbie pinkish for me, like probably too pink, but I do like it. Mm. The formula is really good, I like it. So I'm just gonna fix it with my lip liner really quick because it looks a little too pinkish <laughs> for me. <laughs> just gonna keep spraying a little more of this right here, and my lips still look too pinkish. Um, I do like it, I feel like a little Barbie doll. You know <laughs> but I do like it I do like how the makeup came out um it's really not bad I'm very shocked that I did a cut crease I don't I'm not really like a cut crease kind of person but I'm very happy oh my god there's like spray everywhere so yeah guys um I kind of want to put like a little tiny bit of gloss and this is the NYX butter gloss in strawberry something there just a little bit in the middle and this look is complete. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's, it's probably going to be a long video because it's just going to be a long video because, yeah, it's just going to be a long video. So I'm so sorry if you're seeing this and you're like, Miha, 18 minutes, like, why is this so long? But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. And if you like this makeup tutorial and if you have any comments, please leave it down below. And yeah, thank you guys. God bless you. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.